Local Memphis Live continues with your host, Amy Sparopoulos. Well, back pain can not only wear you down, it can be downright debilitating. Coming on so strong that at times walking, sitting, even sleeping is impossible. And if you're like so many, going under the knife is simply not an option. That's where our next guest comes in. Welcome this morning, Dr. David Wooten with Germantown Disc Center. Good morning to you. Good morning, you. Amy. Good to see you as Good always. Good to see you too. You know, it just occurred to me um, a few days ago, I heard somebody, and I actually, I think it was here at the office. Mm -hmm. I heard somebody, um, Richard Stewart, one of our great, our audio guy, way to go, Richard, we love you. He was talking about his wife and how the back pain had gotten mm -hmm. so debilitating for her. Mm -hmm. sit, she had to sit with an ice pack. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know that. Unfortunately, it, you know, the, it, that is an all too common yeah, and, and you mentioned the ice pack. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people make the mistake of putting heat on their back. Where they put the warm, the warm pad on, to, and it feels good while it's on oh, there. Oh, I thought you were supposed to do heat and cold. No? Uh, well, let's just think about it. If you put heat on it, it's, uh, especially on an acute back situation, if she okay. hurt her back doing something around the house, and she puts heat on it, that would be the similar type of a scenario of putting heat on a twisted ankle. A oh. bas basketball player run down the court, twist his ankle. They don't put heat on that. What would happen to that? That, that ankle. It would just swell, swell up, up really big. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so they put the ice on it to keep the swelling down. It's the same thing with the back. Yeah. If you do something acute where you hurt yourself, don't put heat on it. Feels good while it's there, but it actually hurts in the long run. Wow. The key to ice is just use it for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your body, on the on the size of the part of the body that you're working with. Thicker, okay. thicker areas, 15 minutes. Smaller areas, 10 minutes. Okay. And the reason is it keeps that swelling down and and keeps that pain at a minimum. And see, that makes perfect sense when you say it, but I guess when you're in such pain, you're just like whatever, you grab whatever you think <laughs> might work, you know? Yeah. And, and you want to talk a little bit about the nerves and what happens when we have bulging disc or when we have back pain, things like that. Let, let's go right there. Yeah, so you have back pain and we put ice on it, it feels better, and right. six months later it happens again, and yep. three months later it happens again, and so on. So what's happening is, is the joints of the spine have created misalignments from whatever stress you put on it. Okay. Short term, we can oftentimes self-medicate it or run, yeah. run and get yeah. some anti-inflammatories and, and feel better. But long term, the worse that gets, the more it begins to build pressure on the disc and the nerves. And we talk about the disc here a lot. And we associate the disc with the most common symptom that I've seen in my office, which is leg pain. Mm. And so I wanted to tie together yep. how yep. that yep. happens. Okay. When we develop disc issues, uh, what happens is that disc will pinch on nerves and those nerves as you can see in the lower part of the back, which is mm -hmm. probably the most predominant area that we have disc issues occur because of all the upper body weight sitting on those discs, is leg and foot issues. So it oftentimes we'll start sometimes with radiating pain into the buttock area, if I can say that word. Yep, yep, um, yep. And then oftentimes then goes down the back of the cat, back of the hamstrings, Ugh. and then eventually even down to spasms in the calf yeah. and numbness in the toes. No, I was it just about to say numbness, point. yes. Yeah. Now, if somebody lets their condition go long enough, unfortunately what oftentimes happen is these same nerves, nerve roots, not only innervate into the leg, but they also innervate our organs. And so oh, on the really severe cases, we'll actually pe see people, they might develop constipation or something like that initially, but they can even lose control of their bladder, they can lose control of their bowel, and at that point, they're off to surgery. So they just don't want to take a chance. Oh, I had no having, idea yeah, that on, it could get that bad. Yeah, and uh, you're risking permanent damage at that point. So we like wow. to in intervene when they're in those initial stages where they got back pain that's reoccurring on a once a year, once every six month uh, phase, right. or when they start to develop that leg pain. That's when we really want to be proactive and try to resolve these problems yes. before yes. they get critical. Very good. And decompression is one of the ways that you do that when you lay on the table, which I have done, by the way, it's one and it's relaxing and you often fall asleep. It's that gentle pull, right? Yeah, we love decompression. It's a step between doing just your adjustments only to try to help uh -huh. issues and surgery. Absolutely. So in that middle area there, there's an anesthesiologist that developed a really effective treatment. It's not 100%, but 85%, really high rate of success with yeah. this treatment. And it creates a vacuum in the disc. That disc gets off that nerve and all of a sudden the patient has lots of relief. I'm telling you, I saw relief in three treatments and then I wanted to go back because it was 
the only time that my kids weren't saying, mommy, 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 mommy. I didn't take them into the doctor with me because I needed some peace and quiet. So you too can get some peace and quiet and you can also get relief from the back pain. Call Germantown Disc Center. Dr. Wooten is wonderful. You have the best bedside manner of I any physician that. I have ever met. So I we are so that. grateful that you're sharing your message and your mission with us and we couldn't be more thankful. Thank you. Germantown Disc Center, get in touch with them. They're located at 7730 Wolf River Boulevard, Suite 112, Germantown. Give them a call, 756-2424 or go to their website, germantowndiscenter.com. Coming up, live music, great food and free books. You know, we have always known that our libraries rock, but do your kids know how fabulously the libraries rock? We're going to tell you how you can let them know with this back-to-school bash for everyone after the break.